Beal in and out. Harkless with a rebound. Paul George steps into a transition three. But, you know, hey, three people going after a rebound. You can never that George knifing his way inside and lays it in. It's a 5 nothing start for the Clippers. It's always have a, a, a positive impact on the team. He pushes the ball. He plays the right way. Leonard for three. The second triple for the Clippers, and they lead 9-2. to two. Shot is off. Comes away with a deflection. The steal. And now George in attack mode in a transition. Step away three for him. It is good. And the Clippers did their damage against the Wizards last week in the paint. 66 points in the paint. Now the 150 score. George. Foul line jumper good. And a timeout coming. This together. That was on Thursday in Milwaukee. Results a little better than they were a couple of nights ago. More pressure coming in. Just want to throw them off, off of their rhythm. It is Schmidt with the ball, loses the ball. Patrick Beverly retrieves it. Zubats running the break down the middle of the floor. Finds Kawhi, fakes the three on the flyby, pulls the trigger, and is good. How about if he's a Zub six from above the arc? Hashimura inside. No, he had 30 the last time these two teams met. George to Leonard. I just love the pace that the Clippers are playing with right now. They're getting rebounds, and they are getting that basketball. Hey. Listen, we're going to live with that shot. Hey. Paul George for a three, tries to retaliate in and out. Get them free. A magic lamp and all three wishes, perhaps. George curling, catching. I got it. Wagner clears it away. Markless lingering around, making life challenging. Beal says, I'll just take the deep three. Paul George with a rebound. With the handles to the rim with the right hand, and Paul George and the Clippers are white hot here. Open opportunities every single time down the floor. Ish Smith tries to get it to the streaking Tony Troy Brown back to Kawhi. He pops it in with the right hand, comes down on Wagner, but appears to be all right. Fourth highest talent. Wagner sets the screen for Smith. Jump pass intercepted by Paul George. How many times has this Wizard ball clip tried to throw a pass all the way across the court at the length of the Clippers has either deflected it or intercepted it. That play is where the ball is. He's always running to the basketball. Game high 14. George pump going up. No whistle. The tap doesn't fall for Trez. On the, cur on the, on the outside of three point, they always in the corner. He does a good job of positioning himself like that. Paul George is alone for the breakaway, goes up on the right hand and stuffs it through. And so the Clippers, free throws not playing tonight. Thomas Bryant, Jordan McRae, CJ Miles, John Wall, Isaiah Thomas. That is a very good group of guys to not be playing tonight. And yet here the Wizards are. Clippers looking to break the tie. George. 15, cans the jumper, and Paul George now. Leonard picked up by the rookie on the switch. Once a whistle, doesn't get it. Zoo with the rebound. Left side over to an open. Paul George for three, halfway down. Ish Smith with 12 points. Averages nine on the year, coming off the bench for Scotty Brooks. Paul from 15, follows his miss, surrounded by white jerseys. Back to Beverly, he's already hit two threes. This one's... George finds a seat to the rim with the right hand and lays it in. The ball, Leonard to Beverly, back to Kawhi, back to Pat. Buzzes beneath the net, gets it to George for an open look at a three. Beal, long strides and a graceful glide, bouncing into the fence. John Wall make the Ryan, recovery, I think is going to be the biggest. B yeah, yeah, that's me, yeah, that's me. No way will that happen. No chance. Clippers tied at 60. Lou breaks the tie and Lou will. They do lead by four. Beal to Hashimura. He challenges Zubats and loses that challenge. A transition three for George. Rebound to Beverly. Foul line jumper for Paul George in the Clippers offense with the six points, four assists, four rebounds for Pat Beverly. 
George curls off the screen, dishes to Harkless for a three. Got it! Ten threes for the Clippers. Grabbing his leg, I don't know if it's a Charlie horse or what, he gets back to his feet. Paul fires a late shot clock three in and out. It's a problem, it's our defense. Defense has begun to show its teeth. George posting on Brown. The jab step jump shot. George, two man game with Zubats. Calls his own number. Gets to the rim with a right hand and lays it in. Oh, he's just so tough. He's so tough in those situations right there. Is Smith catches the defense, napping, but misses at the door. Late in the clock for the Wizards. Paul George has the loose ball. And that was good defensive possession right there. You get a, a fadeaway, half spin, pull up jumper like that. That's good defense. On their five point lead. Again, they've led by as many as 16 in the second half. Paul George spots an entry. Kicks it into the corner to Derek Walt Jr. for three. Asking you shall receive. About a layup. Has an assist and has an, a, a rebound. George with Bertans gets him off balance, rocks up a three and knocks it in. I was more surprised at 30 points he got in, in Los Angeles. Now some of those game was, game was decided as George snaps up another three. He was one a year from now. Robinson lays it in. It's a good job being aware right there for Scott Robinson. Bertans for three draws the foul. Montrez feeling good. Up and under, sideways and around to the rim and in. And that, my friends, is the candles on 